Today, I will show you 10 examples of cool customizations and at the end I will give you some tips on how to assemble an interesting minifigure yourself. So be sure to watch this video until the end and don't forget to subscribe for take more interesting and useful LEGO tips. Well, with you, as always, Papa LEGO, let's go. The dead have risen from their graves. Hordes of the undead are ravaging human settlements. The people of the kingdom need defenders. Let's take the knight from minifigure series 15. It has well-designed prints all over the body and is perfect for the base of our warrior. The figurine is made in dark colors, so we will take the armor in dark gray. Shoulder pads from the Nexonite series will look great, and for colorfulness we will put on a cloak of the same color as the torso. The warrior is experienced, so the face should be covered with scars, and in order to add individuality to the hero, we will leave him without a helmet. Well, the best weapon against skeletons is, of course, a big hammer that crushes bones. But even with such a formidable weapon, our hero cannot cope alone. The best warrior from the centaurs of the western forest is perfect for the role of a companion. Taking the base from the figure from series 21, we will replace the torso with a more brutal one. Here, a detail of a naked body that can be taken from a gladiator or a fawn figurine will look great. Hair with ears from the same fawn from minifigure series 15 looks good with a centaur, and for more militancy we will put on shoulder pads from Nexonite sets. Now our heroes will be able to face the danger together. But who was able to raise the dead from their graves? An old swamp necromancer who lives in the cursed swamps. An example of how Star Wars figurines fit perfectly into a fantasy theme if you have a rich imagination. I have already done a similar custom before. By picking up a body from a centaur from Harry Potter and legs from an orc from the Hobbit series, you can assemble an interesting figure, complementing it with a cape from a ghost and a skeleton body behind your back. Carrying it always with him, the necromancer is ready to fight with our heroes at any moment. I once made a wargen warrior out of a werewolf minifigure, but recently I was lucky enough to buy another one and then I went further. There are defenders in my city of mages, and I decided to assemble a sergeant, a wargen, a battle mage, cavalry commander, parts from the bat knight, shoulder pads and a long sword, as well as magic parts from the scarlet which figure from marvel came in handy here. I really like this character and I would like to collect all the figures of werewolves that are now in lego, but for now, from what I already have, I have assembled an elf archer from the same western forest. From a long time ago, it was inhabited by forest elves, who made an alliance with the city of magicians and stood up for its protection. Here we will take a torso from a centaur and legs from an archer from episode 16. All these accessories are quite common, but the head with such a hairstyle was only in the third series of minifigures, but you can replace it with a hairstyle from any other elf that you have. And for the forest itself, be sure to make a druid. Where without him, especially since the recent minifigure series had great parts for him. Taking legs from a fawn and a dwarf beard, a couple of details of crooked branches and some kind of animal, you can assemble an entourage forest druid. He will guard the forest, take care of the local wildlife, and sometimes help the heroes fight the dark forces. We will also collect them today. Skull armor from Lego Castle, that shield from the minifigure series, Gryffindor sword and Vladex helmet from the Old Kingdom of Night series. The legs would have been better in black, like a Harry Potter Dementor figurine, but if you don't have one, you can, like me, put the ones you can find. I took from the ghost minifigure from the Halloween series. And which side will this warrior choose for you? Take the head from the Ninjago minifigure and take Moon Knight from episode 22. Shoulder pads from a knight, a white beard from Santa, and a purple cape are perfect. From the weapon, you can choose a long knightly sword or make hammer then you get an excellent paladin. The main thing is that now you can diversify your fantasy world with new characters. Everything is limited only by your imagination. In a world where magic reigns and amazing things happen, there must be scientists who are looking for new ways to use magic, even for those who have not possessed it since birth. Parts from Harry Potter minifigures are perfect for a scientist. Hair from a goblin banker, a beard from Dumbledore, a cane from a magic wand, and, of course, a book with records of research. Whether new discoveries will serve for good or be used for evil purposes is up to you. In the meantime, scientists puzzle over these riddles, ordinary villagers go hunting and gather militia to fight the orcs and bandits. You can assemble this one from parts from a viking from the first series of minifigures, complementing with excellent accessories, a cloak and a two-tone spear. And of course, what a warrior without his faithful steed. The most important thing when assembling any minifigure is to try to choose parts of the same color scheme and not interfere with more than three colors. More figurines of the same theme you have, the more cool color customizations you can collect and of course, do not spare more accessories for your heroes. Well, with you, as always, there was Dad Lego. Be sure to watch my other videos and subscribe to the channel. Cool minifigures to you, I'm not saying goodbye.